Good morning, everybody. It's Midnight and Beyond, welcoming you back to the world of Fire Emblem Awakening. Looks like we got a lot of branching paths here today. In the last episode, we saved Maribel, who had been kidnapped by, uh, Grangle? Lord Grangle? These are some weird names. I'm sorry if I don't remember all of them. In this episode, we have the option to go to Chapter 6, but we have a second paralogue available to us, so I guess that's what we're going to be doing today. The Twins Turf. Well, before we do that, can we check out any supports? Yes, we do. We have yet another one for Crom and Robin, so let's get that one underway before we get things started here today. <sighs> I feel so awkward around Robin ever since that bathing tent run-in. <sighs> Whenever I end up alone with her, I'm just frozen in embarrassment. <sighs> what should I do? I've never had this problem before. Ah, huh, I know. A bath. Yes, perhaps a nice hot bath is just the thing for my nerves. I'll have a soak in, then find Robin for a relaxed conversation, like always. Um. Let's see, the lances and axes are kept around here somewhere. I'll just take a quick inventory and see if any need repairs are replacing. Somewhere around here? Ah, here! The armed storage tent, I presume? Alright then, I'll just head in and... Ah! Robin, where'd you come from? Blazes, what are you screaming for? If anyone should be screaming, it's me, isn't it? You aren't supposed to- Ah! Oh, stop it! Stop throwing things! Hey, that's sharp! Don't- yeah! Have you no shame? Noble or not, you should at least wear a towel when you address a lady. B but- you ah! You were the one who walked in on me. I'm so sorry. Are we done throwing things? Um. I think. I don't know what happened. Something just snapped and. Hmm. Well, no harm done. The gods' justice, perhaps, for my earlier blunder. Ha <laughs> ha. Well, anyway, thanks for being so good-natured about it all. I feel terrible about that soap dish. How's your ear doing? <laughs> better. It still stings a little, but better. In any case, look on the bright side. We've seen each other naked now, right? So I guess we've got nothing left to hide. In a way, we're closer than ever. <laughs> Not the most appropriate way for a man and woman to get to know each other. But I suppose as long as nobody else knows. It's like we're partners in crime sharing an unsavory past. Anything that brings us closer will make us stronger on the battlefield. Just you wait. <laughs> partners in crime? I like the sound of that. Well, partner, your secret's safe with me. You're talking about the size? Okay, I'm sorry, I just had to, but what the fruit even is that conversation? Look on the bright side, Robin. We've both seen each other naked. Now, like, what the fruit even is that? I don't understand you. Oh, uh, what's the rocks? Hello, hello. Um, new events have occurred. I don't know what this is, actually. Um, hi, guys. Robin, the day's only half over. A little earlier break, isn't it? Listen in. Hey, how come I never see you in camp after battles? Oh, I'm usually standing in the middle of camp, counting the people who ignore me. <laughs> Sully and Kelm's relationship improved, so this is sort of a way to get characters' relationship increased without actually using them. So be sure to check in on this often. I just now discovered that this exists. Do you got any new ones in here? We got four of them, apparently. Uh, we got Donald and Lissa. Listen in. Hey, would you mind fighting with me during the next battle? I could tell you're a pro. Okay, I'll do my best. Together we could take whatever the bad guys throw at us. Donald and Lissa's relationship improved, okay. Uh, next we listen to just Maribel. Hmm, what's this? Well, I see a little point in just leaving it here. She can find an item for you. Micaiah's Pyre. Or I could call it Micaiah's Pyre. Oh, whatever. Not funny. We got Longku and Vake. You know, we should take on more foes together. Who is the Vake to say no? If it's combat genius want, I'm your man. Eh, 
kind of a pretty good duo now that I think about it. He's sort of like the straight man to bake. Okay, and finally we have uh, Frederick. What's gotten into me today? I feel as if I could protect the realm single-handed. Gained a surge of defensive resistance. So it's very worth your time to just check in on these because you get a bunch of free stats just for showing up. It's like just going into the temple and Legends of the Hidden Temple. You get prizes just for showing up. A uh, roster? You got... Uh, choose a story character above to view his or her bio. Okay, so you get to look at bios of the characters. Cool beans. Uh, then you could look around. Do you get to design this thing, or is it just, like, cool? I don't know. Uh, whoa, we already got new supports unlocked. We got ones for Sully and Kellum. Apparently that was a very worthwhile conversation. Uh, I just want to walk around real quick to see if there are any killing edges, because like I said, those are invaluable to you, so... It's very worth your time to just look around and see if you could find any. I can't find any, so I guess we'll check out this second conversation. Not really necessary, but uh, maybe I'll save it for another episode, depending on how long this one ends up being, and if we have an episode later down the line that doesn't have any conversations in it. So for now, I'll just go ahead and record this, and I'll put it somewhere in some video at some point. Cutting away, possibly! Kellum? Hey, Kellum! Okay. Um... I've got a bone to pick with you, Pipsqueak. Calm tells me that in our last battle, you were secretly watching my back. If you say so. I wasn't trying to keep it a secret, Sully. I was just fighting alongside. <sighs> well, knock it off. I'm the one who does the protecting around here, got it? I don't need some tiny man in a huge suit of armor watching me. You think I need an extra protection? That's it? You think I'm frail and weak? You think you could be my gallant knight in shiny oversized armor? No, I wasn't giving you special treatment, honest. I just like protecting people. Hmm. I'll say this once, Pipsqueak. Don't you ever pull that junk again! Are we clear now? Word sank in? Because if we are, I'm done. I've got better things to do than yell at you, Tin Man. <clears throat> of course you do. I mean... Um, well, bye. Is he actually super tiny underneath the armor? That'd be kind of funny, but... Or maybe she's just, like, enforcing her dominance and be like, I'm so giant and you're a puny man, I will crush you. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, so that was a conversation. It's not nearly as abundant in this game, but I know in Fire Emblem Fates, basically all the communications in that game is just, like, the first three are all like, I hate you, I really hate you, I extremely hate you. And then Rankess is like, but that's why I love you. <laughs> so I know that's sort of like a running joke in the Fire Emblem fandom, but now that's finally taken care of, we can now begin Paralogue 2. This is not required for you to do, but it is very worth your while, and fans of old Fire Emblem games may be interested in the reward you get for completing this. Let's see what it is, shall we? Paralogue 2, The Secret Cellar. Also, that wasn't the name of it before. Okay. No, it seems all hope is lost. Still, hold fast. I'll treat your wounds. <clears throat> it's too late. <clears throat> What's happened here? Hail, traveler. Nothing but death ahead, travelers. I'd turn back if I were you. Whatever your business here, it will have to wait. What? Just tell us what happened. Well, uh... The bandits have blocked the road ahead. They're demanding a Cain's ransom and illicit tolls for all who wish to pass. They think to profiteer on refugees? Despicable. Our cavern's livelihood is at stake. We'll do no business in this country now. My lord. The flow of goods must be secured. Or the people are likely to starve. Right. Then we'll secure it. You and your cavern can wait here. We'll let you know when it's safe. Let's see how many units we have available to us. We got Rick and Maribel here as permanent party members, which is nice. Uh, we can have a full party. Not a full party attempt, but like we have 10 characters now, which is pretty impressive. Uh, do I want to keep Rick as my uh, final dude? 
Uh, Vieron's also not that bad. Uh, I kind of prefer Wind Mage to uh, a bow, I guess. But I guess it's different because we have a mage already. I guess here's a way to think about it. Who do I want to pair Vake up with? Rickon or Vieron? Uh... I guess Viron. Sure, why not? Uh, ready to fight. Darling. Hmm. See? I dare say we've come across a village, Vincent. Right. And what a thriving little hamlet it is, Victor. <laughs> Indeed, I think it'll make for a fine bit of pillaging, Vincent. It most certainly will, Victor. Darling. Well then, I believe it's my turn to do the honors, isn't it? Right. I do believe it is, Victor. Oh, but try not to kill them all this time. Hmm. It tends to cut into profits. Mm -hmm. Hate to be the bearer of bad news, but I'm afraid this village is closed. Well, aren't you a fetching young thing? And fetching young things fetch good coin. In fact, the gold you net from the slavers will build Vincent a fine home. <laughs> Careful, love. Us traders are known to make some very deep cuts. We saw this shopkeeper earlier in the adventure. She sold us some Wait. extra weapons that were only available for a short period of time. But she seems to be a green ally this time around. Maybe if we get Crumb to talk to her, we could convince her to join our group. That village is in danger. One of us must ride along ahead and warn them of what's coming. So this has a bit of a different objective. We need to make it to that end of the field and warn them of what's about to happen. Move to a village entrance and select visit. The villagers there will give you items and, adv and advice and you may gain new allies. So if we do that, she might see that we're good-natured and join our group. Uh, is that the only one that we need to visit? That is the only village here, so... I guess we're going to... For this specific mission, I think we're going to pair Krom with uh, Sumia so that she could just fly across and uh, make it a lot easier for Krom to make it over there. So we're going to do that. Uh, she's unfortunately not going to be in good condition, though, so we're going to switch to Krom. Have him finish this guy off. Do that. Dodge. And we're good. Right. Okay, we're making a little bit of progress, but we still have quite a ways to go. The reason this is interesting, this character, Anna, she's sort of like... I don't know, the best way I could describe it is the Nurse Joy of Fire Emblem. She appears in every single game, and... I don't know if it's like supposed to be the same Anna who appears throughout the game. It's like, I think I was trying to look it up, and apparently she's done a bit of like time traveling or whatnot. But apparently, uh, she just appears throughout every game, or it could just be like a bunch of descendants. She has like a bunch of sisters that all look the same and all uh, fulfill the same role of a saleswoman of sorts. So that is kind of interesting that she appears in this game, and this is actually the first time in the series where she could be playable. You could actually recruit her if we successfully warn this village and talk to her, so let's see if we could get that done. Uh, Long Ku, I'm gonna have you go with. Uh, I was had him with Sumia before, but how's about I give him to Robin? You know, I'm pairing like all the beefcakes up together, so maybe not entirely the smartest, I, the smartest decision, but whatever. Uh, maybe it would have been better to prepare. Uh, who I wanted everyone to be standing next to. Eh, this isn't too terrible. Pair up with Viron and... Can't do anything right here. Can't do anything here. Just switch to Vague so this guy gets up close to personal and we can actually do damage. Uh, go up here, I guess. is the only way we could get across unless we have a Pegasus. And that's it. Anna's on her own for now, so that's kind of bad. Thankfully, she's pretty good at dodging, so uh, we don't have too much to worry about, at least for now. Uh, six damage. Not too great. Uh, let's see. Just gonna try and get rid of these guys. It's also good practice for the road ahead. Always good to get extra experience. 
of... I was kind of concerned about the last episode in terms of the amount of damage we were doing for some of our characters. Characters I've been wanting to use in this new, in this LP, like Sumia. Uh, I wanted to find out how I could better implement her skills. Uh, let's see. And it takes care of him. Since she's not part of our group yet, she will not get experience, so that's another reason why you're going to want to get to her ASAP. Uh, thankfully, she is getting closer to us, so that's pretty nice. Uh, what if I switch over to Sumi right here? She could finish this guy, so we should get some experience. Do that. Uh, do not dodge, but three damage is too bad to deal with. But yeah, I should definitely prioritize Sumia and see if I could uh, use her better this time around. Uh, you have the superior lance. I wanted to give that to her just to see if she could use it. Uh, Frederick, Robin, Lanku. These guys are coming to us regardless, so I guess I could just go over here. Have Robin attack this guy from a distance. We're not alone. And very good. Nothing wrong with growing allies with different characters, even if they aren't going to be the main ones. It's still nice to have benefits with every single character. Uh, let's go and... Oh, Frederick, you're 1 HP short. Maybe you can get a critical hit! No, not quite. Just dodge like that and get a little bit of experience. I guess you guys have no other option. I'm gonna switch to stall, maybe? Okay, that's good. Let's see what we could do. That. Uh, come in, save the day, Sully. Very, very nice. Uh, he got a weapon upgrade. Very, very nice. I know I have more times I can say very, very nice, but whatever. Who are we missing? Vake, you wanna do something? We could switch to Veron and finish this guy off. Right behind you. Very good. Yeah, I switched it up this time, saying very good instead of very, very nice. Enemy phase, let's go. I think Anna dodges every attack when she's separated from you. So that's kind of cool for now. Won't be like that when she actually joins you, unfortunately, but oh well. Looks like giving you a good opportunity to reach her. Uh, take a bit of damage, hurt this guy super hard so that he goes down. So, remember I was saying that I was uh, going to try and take this LP slow and not record a bajillion episodes all at once? Uh, that might have changed because my apartment complex is set to cut down a bunch of trees uh, the following week, so I might want to start recording a bajillion episodes at once because uh, I might not have the opportunity to record for quite a while afterwards, so... Could I get Fire Emblem Awakening recorded before that happens? I have no idea. Should I attempt it? Probably not. But I'm still probably going to, because I don't know how to learn my stinking lessons. Oh, wait here. Let's see what we got. Uh, the extra train. Oh, it's a training section. I guess weapon proficiency. I guess that's good. Is there a way to tell what it is beforehand? And probably There probably is, and everyone's getting mad at me, but like... I don't think there is. I think it was just like, it could either be an item you pick up, or it could be experience, or whatever. Uh, head over here. Crom, or no, not Crom and Robin. It's Robin and Lanku. Uh, they can take care of this guy. So we should move Frederick over here. Uh, I guess I could have you grab this. It is... Oh, I know it's a conversation area. How would you feel about fighting together in the next battle? Okay, I'll do my best. Together we can take whatever bad guys throw at us. So much for teaming up with Donald, like I promised, Lissa. It improves the relationship, and this is one I'm actually going for, so that's pretty good. Uh, Sumia. So I'm not sure if they're going to be going for... This guy's an archer, so I should definitely switch over to Krom, regardless of what I do. Switch to him, and wait, I suppose. Anyone else we got... This guy we get rid of. This guy is super low on HP, so I'm not going to bother. Robin could finish this guy off, so go do that. Uh, very good. Not very good. Very good. Yes. yes! Robin's so happy. I like when Robin's happy. So I was actually considering... Eh, never mind. Sort of, sort of getting ahead of myself. I was actually getting into contact of, with Fire Emblem friends of mine, or just like enthusiast friends of mine, about things I could do to make this LP better. And I've learned some things and kind of just learned some other things. I knew I wouldn't be able to make this LP perfect, but uh, sort of questioning my decisions and whatnot. This game actually uh, 
I don't know, just stuff I don't want to talk about, but I can't talk about it yet because it's about stuff we haven't seen yet. And oh, and I actually took damage, so I should be careful about that. Uh, Krom can't even reach her. God darn it. Uh, run over here. We'll finish this guy off. Two hits, no damage for Krom. Uh, let's see, there's another archer, so I guess it was a good thing that I didn't switch to Sumia. I still want her to get experience. Go and do that. Yeah, I just gotta learn to not get too ahead of myself because there's so many things I want to talk about, but can't do it yet. Uh, you guys... I don't know what I want to do with you. Uh, so I was just playing Smash Ultimate. I finished off all the classic mode characters. So I finished classic mode with every single character. I'm, I think, 108... Uh, why did they get next to Anna but not attack her? That's weird. I make deep cuts. Yeah, she makes a lot of money puns, which is funny. Uh, but yeah, I uh, finished classic with every character, like I keep on saying. And I think I'm about 108 challenges in out of 124. It's a stinking cakewalk compared to Brawl. Like, I remember Brawl took years for me to finish it. I'm sure if I was actively working towards it, then I would be doing it quicker. Or I could have finished Brawl quicker. But, like, well, Brawl had, like, a bajillion challenges. I'm wondering, because 124 is still nothing to sneeze at. And they're separated to different screen so it makes it seem smaller so i gotta check to see how many challenges are in each game but 100 in brawl was good did i 100 i didn't 100 smash 3ds i came close but i gave up after the game broke my 3ds's circle pad uh like i'm sure that happened with a lot of people uh smash wii u is ridiculous and i was close to 100 in it but i sort of stopped uh, what else? I kind of want to go back and 100% melee. I just want to go back and see how close I am to finishing it. Because I feel like I might be close, but part of me remembers. I think I lost my save data, so I borrowed a friend's copy and I just had like all the characters unlocked. That's sort of what I wanted. But in terms of completion of classic adventure and all-star with every character, I'm not sure what that's looking like right now. But we can finally get over to Anna and talk to her with Krom. Hey. Milady, are you hurt? Do you need... Oh, you're fine. Well, I guess it was silly of me to be worried, eh? Mm -hmm. Yes, but it's sweet all the same, handsome. Good. You seem to have things well in hand, but I hope you won't mind a little company. Just until we sort these rouges out. Or rogues, not rouges, Jesus. Aw, oh, you are worried. That's adorable. I welcome the assistance. And now we can play as her, I believe. Uh, no, she's just going to be... She's just aware of us. I think you need to talk to her before uh, ending this chapter. Otherwise, you won't get her to join you at the end of this. So keep her alive and uh, make sure you talk to her. And also talk to these guys real quick so we can save their lives and all that good stuff. Is this the last group? No, there's a, there's a buttload of enemies down here. Is there a boss? There's a boss down here. Okay, I know what I'm doing, apparently. Uh, switch over to... Can Alyssa heal from diagonally as she can? Uh, moves to down to adjusted spaces. I could move them, but I don't want to. Switch to Frederick, I guess. Uh, yeah, so I'm pretty close to finishing Smash Ultimate. Uh, the majority of my challenges are left with online stuff, so I might stream that stuff so I could work with people and have it be all cool and whatnot. I've been having fun with streaming lately. I've been streaming all the Kingdom Hearts stuff, like I said. I'm close to getting affiliate, and it'd be kind of cool if that just sort of took off and whatnot. I was trying to think about it, like, on t I talked about Mario League Partners in time, why I prefer Let's Plays to streaming and why I do the video formats the way that I do. Um, I was thinking that if I seriously could make it work, then Twitch could just sort of be the job uh, sort of thing that I don't want to do. Uh, can't I talk to them? Maybe Anna? No, I can't even play as Anna. Switch. Can't talk to... These guys, did they already close the door? They told me to go in them in there, though. I don't understand. Uh, is this a waste of time to bring every single character up here? Perhaps. I guess we're heading down now. Okay. Okay. What was he even trying to say? I completely lost that. Oh yeah, why I prefer Let's Play to streaming and whatnot. I was thinking about it, and like, I guess I could see it as, if I do streaming, if I could somehow make it work, then I could make streaming the thing that I just don't really want to do. She could heal as well, man, she's awesome. 
I could make streaming be like the sort of desk job sort of thing where I just do whatever. And then the let's play could be just my main focus thing where I do special projects that I want to be like a limited amount. And it's like sort of a journey that we're going on doing a certain amount of games and then ending off at a certain point. I guess if I look at it that way, I could uh, get into streaming. I like how I'm so nonchalant about it. Like it's just something I could choose to do overnight. Certainly not going to be like that because I know it doesn't work like that, but it would be nice if I could actually make it work. I would love it if it, uh, if I can't do Let's Play for a living, then maybe streaming could be the next best thing. Uh, I guess I could try this with Veeron. I feel like I'm going to regret it super hard, but let's see. Who goes first? Okay, he does that. Bit of damage, but I'm also worried about how many more characters are going to be coming after that. Uh, switch, not switch it to Robin, just go over here. Get on over here. Do not want to do automatic, even though it's sort of uh, possible at this point in time. Uh, here's the boss, cool, and he's attacking an archer. Give up now, I was born a victor, and victory will be mine. Oh, ho, 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 ho. so sexy. Uh, Viron's totally gonna die. Yo, Vake, you wanna come in and save his stinking butt? Uh, of course not. Who would ever wanna save Viron? Apparently a lot of people stinking hate Viron. He was actually the first character I got in, uh, Fire Emblem Heroes. I think it's automatic that happens? I don't know why they chose him, but that's a thing, apparently. That he's always the first hero you get. Maybe? I don't know. I might be wrong with that. Okay, we got that. Chrom gets a level up. Level 9. Strength comes from diligence. Ally phase. Anna just walks down and heals again. Yeah! She's very, very funny. Player phase. What do we got? Uh, there's no one on this side, so... We could have these guys just clean house. Uh, not quite with this guy. Twelve. Oh, what about with Lon Ku? Sixteen, but still. I kind of want him to do it. Let's see if I, like, I want to switch items real quick, or switch weapons. See if that does any difference. Nineteen. Nineteen. Iron's probably weaker. Weaker! Uh, go for it, Frederick. I don't know why I thought he was going to critical hit right here, but whatever. Okay. Robin, can you finish this guy off? You can. Is it going to end the battle, though? It's going to be really bad to have Robin at 3 HP with all these guys showing up. Miss Tekka leads to a deadly counter. Well, let's make it a bit easier for her, I guess. Very good. Yeah, I rule. Yeah, I rule. Level up for Vake. Vake just got a whole lot of Vake here. Uh, uh, these guys aren't gonna help us out. So, let's see if this works. I've got your back. Oh, hello, Lonku. Thank you. I I see an open field, Vincent. Such beautiful flowers. So are they brothers or lovers or both? Oh. Level 10 for Robin. Now that's what I call progress. Never get tired of seeing that line. And she gets the skill Solidarity. We're gonna have to check out what that is later. Got a goddess icon. Send it to the convoy. Wait, this is just money, right? If I just 5,000 gold to the market, we'll have to sell that. Uh, increases luck by two permanently. Oh, that's pretty cool. Get rid of the soothing sword. And oh, the battle isn't over yet, so it's very good that Lanku stepped in, so she has a bit more HP to protect her. Uh, let's do auto, just for the heck of it. Okay, it was just for one character, whatever. No big dodges. Does a bit of damage. And he's gonna get attacked by the archer. Archer, I just met her. Her, her, her. Like you didn't expect it. She heals herself. Apparently, you could do that. And let's finish this thing off, shall we? Frederick, take care of this guy. No stinking problem. 
Did you say dead? He was like, dead. He probably said there, but whatever. Uh, we'll switch to Long Ku. Have him finish this guy off. So everyone gets a chance to murder today. Hooray. At least I think they did. Robin and Long Ku. At least it's someone other than Robin and Crom for once. Thank you. A thousand thanks, good sir. I'd feared our goods would spoil before reaching market. I'm certain the townsfolk will be happier for the fresh food as well. It seems you've done a kindness to my fellow merchants. The name's Anna. Some folks like to call me the Secret Stellar. The next time we meet, I'll be sure to cut you an extra special deal. Hmm? Secret Cellar? That sounds familiar. <laughs> I'd tell you more, but then it wouldn't be much of a secret now, would it? Until next time, happy shopping, and may the gods of the open road keep you. Uh, does she not join you? Nani? Okay, so we do not recruit Anna at this point in time. We, this is just sort of the stepping stone that will let you do it later on. So as long as you talk to her with Krom and kept her alive in this paralogue, you should be good to get her later on. Hopefully I'm right on that. For now, I think we are good to go, though, and end this episode off. Sorry, that was sort of anticlimactic, and I don't know what the word I'm talking about. But I guess that's my fault for being unprepared. And, ooh, they're having a sale over here. But, uh, whatever, we're gonna end this for now. And I guess I might buy some things off camera. Next time on Fire Emblem Awakening, we are going to continue on with the main adventure. And maybe I'll have some new items to show off as well. This is Midnight and Beyond, and I will see you all later. Good night.